everybody. How is everybody doing today on this beautiful Monday morning? I think that I scraped the ice off my windshield this morning. I thought we'd be done, but no, we're not quite done yet. It'll be a little while longer. Um, so I had a good weekend. We were um, out for St. Patrick's Day, but we didn't go out for very long. Uh, then we just went, hung out at a friend's house for a long time, and that was good, because then we got to control the music. We listened to the music we wanted to listen to. And that was cool. I enjoyed that very much. But today I wanted to talk about um, art and family. Uh, so we were at the we were at the Coastal Museum this weekend. Maybe I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. But um, art and the family, as in, you know, kids take art classes in school. And of course, you know, everybody buys their kids a box of crayons and a coloring book and maybe some blank paper and they can make their own stuff. But then, how do you learn? How do you teach more? How do you go further? What kind of things do you like to do? So I'll tell you that um, we, a mental note, Postal Museum tomorrow and the science experiment we did this weekend the day after that. Thank you. Uh, you know, we have bought uh, a lot of acrylic paints for our kids. We'll set up like a paint night with the family. Um, so everybody paints a picture and then we'll watch painting YouTube videos, which are fantastic. You can find a documentary on anything that you want that tells you exactly what you need to know very, very quickly. With a few notable exceptions, there have been some things that I haven't been able to find. I'm trying to correct that now. But uh, just checking that out. And then trying to take them a few steps further. Glenn's done art camps. But then again, like, I'm just going to wonder how important is art? I mean, uh, I'm trying to do nice, well-rounded stuff, give them a little exposure to this, a little exposure to that. Uh, he, through circumstances, wound up doing two art camps last summer. Uh, and those are the only camps that he did. And I would have probably preferred him to do like an art camp and a science camp or a music camp and a math camp or a um, different sports camp and a math camp. When I was mixing up between the arts and the sports and the sciences, I like to mix up the three. Uh, so beyond that, I'm just not even, I'm not exactly sure what good art is going to, to do. Um, although I've heard it, I've heard it said several different times. Uh, particularly in sci-fi, that if you understand somebody's art, you understand them, you can understand how to, how to beat them. So, there's that. Uh, most notably, in my mind, is when Grand Admiral Thrawn said that in the Timothy Zahn Star Wars trilogy. I believe it was Heir to the Empire we saw that first. But that's a complete aside. Uh, we also like to do uh, maze drawing. Uh, so we'll draw each other mazes and try and make our way through the mazes. Uh, we enjoy, you know, colored pencils, putting things together like that. Uh, Play-Doh is a lot of fun, uh, fiddling around with Play-Doh. But, you know, with the... Uh, it's going to be eight really soon. I'm not sure what to do next. Uh, there should be more. We should continue to do this. A uh, good thing is we get the eight and the three-year-old. So the three-year-old is getting into the same things that the eight-year-old is into now. Uh, and he's a little ways behind. So he got a little ways to go. In any event... When you get your whole family into art, buying, buying them art supplies, making sure they use it, trying to teach them how to use it properly, what do you do uh, beyond trying to educate yourself and then, all right, here's what we're going to do that sets you down with an objective. Now, the thing I hate is that, you know, sometimes here's what you need to do. You need to do it right. Well, that takes the fun out of it. I'd rather just, you know, futz around. I'd rather fool around and play with this than actually learn something and try to do something real with it. So I guess maybe that's it. Maybe you can... You can buy them the cheapo stuff and just say, here, have a good time. Uh, cheap acrylic paint, cheap brush on paper. All right, you've done that several times. Do you like it? Do you want to take it to the next level? Let's go out to the store. If you can dedicate some effort to this, I will spend $10 on a cheap canvas and a couple better brushes and see what he does. And if he objects, no, I don't want to do this, then okay, well, let's find something else that you do want to do. Because I would like to be able to sink 100 or $200 into this give you the tools you need to do it really, really, really well, and then have you actually put forth effort. I mean, that's kind of what we did with the guitar. It was a matter of, all right, we're going to be spending, it was 60, 60 bucks on the guitar itself, which was a steal, I think, and then we're going to be spending 100 bucks a month to teach you lessons. And then if you want to do this, if you want us to spend this money, you're going to need to reciprocate and actually practice, practice hard, practice often and really put forth effort to improve. And so that's the deal, is that this is what you want to do. Now the problem is, it's this ongoing thing of, of, of paying for the lessons. The guitar, he's been doing it for weeks and weeks now. 
uh, as far as I'm concerned, he's he's done put in enough effort for me to justify the 50 bucks, but he has to put in enough effort for me to justify an extra hundred dollars. And I'm afraid that if I say, look, dude, if you don't practice, I'm not sending you lessons anymore. He'll just say, all right, cool. I don't want to do the lessons either. So that's kind of tough. That's trouble. I don't know what to do there, but we're working on it. So how do you involve your family with art? What kind of art do you guys like? You know, you like music, you like painting, you like sculptures, you like uh, coloring in between the lines, coloring outside the lines. Let me know. I'm interested in hearing about what you guys do. And uh, shoot, send me some pictures of your kids' art. In any event.